Welcome. I just got this in the mail from Keystone. They sent me this guy. Boom. See that? 13 through 24. Should be able to see that with the reflection. And then 1 through 12. It's got this little tool that comes with it, little Phillips head screwdriver, so I can take the plate off of this side, also take the plate off of this side. Apparently, I need... Yeah, no, actually there's not a whole lot I can do otherwise without those removed, but everything that I need... Um, there we go, so some additional screws just in case. The instructions plus a tamper-proof set of stickers that will wrap around the edges once I'm done. And then, of course, yeah, hey, a coupon code. That's fun. The instructions, but I think it's relatively straightforward, right? These are the stainless steel inserts. They are all in plastic to make sure that they don't corrode, right, or oxidize. But I punch out the letters that I need, and then those letters slide in place here after I remove this, right? So these, um, after I get this totally worked free. So I'm gonna take out these few screws first and do a quick, I mean, if it isn't quick here, then then I'm misunderstanding how this device is supposed to work. But I think the, the main hinge there is, uh, has a pip, it's a, a rivet, it's in place. I'm going to say a pivot, geez. Talk about word association. I think just the fact that it rhymed got me confused. It's also a little bit early in the morning, I'm trying to get this out of the way before the rest of my day creeps up on me. But yeah, bada boom, right there. That guy twists out of place. And so now I can place these where they belong in there and they just slide in in a vertical orientation. Only the first four letters of each seed phrase word goes in there, and then I close that back up, place those screws back in uh, in their position, and then, see that little guy right there, that makes sure that it doesn't, doesn't go too far. It also, <clears throat> also helps to register right there when it all slides shut, so it just stays really Tidy. I can put the stickers back in place and then of course I can put some kind of a an hardened lock on this if I wanted to, a combination lock or whatever else. Could somebody cut that off? Could somebody remove these tamper-proof stickers? Of course they could. Um, and I don't think that's a huge problem. Um, things to like about this, the build quality. I've seen some destruction tests on this. I'm not going to do any destruction tests as I'm reviewing any of these kinds of seed plates. I think that that's just unnecessary for, uh, for right now. Um, but the the fact that it has a lock that you can add to it or that you could put, you know, literally just put a bolt, a nut and bolt through that if you felt like it or whatever, a steel cable through this and multiple others. It means that you could place the entire family's um, items like this in some kind of an underground uh, container. You could do the whole like bury your seed phrase thing and you could get several of these for the family and lock them all together with a, a longer U-bolt style lock. That could be cut off. The thing that I take issue with on devices like this is that let's just say that you walked into my home when I'm not there, you see this. What do you presume this is? It says Keystone on it. So you know it's by a crypto and Bitcoin hardware wallet manufacturer. Even if you didn't, even if you weren't familiar with this uh, particular item, right, and you didn't know what it was initially, wouldn't take you long to figure it out. So if it has a lock on it, all you gotta do is take this. Eventually, you know, over time, you're gonna figure out how to work your way into this. And of course, the tamper-proof stickers don't help me know that it's been tampered with if you take this with you. So the entire security model of having a metal seed plate still requires you to figure out where to hide it so that people are unlikely to find it. However, all that said, Keystone has made a fine product here. This thing works great. I know from experience that popping these out and putting them in place is easy. You saw me get this thing undone in just a few seconds. And in a video that's under eight minutes long, 
I've been able to take that apart and I would, if I had these popped out, I'd be able to put that in in a very short amount of time and then put it back together. So um, I love the, the main hinge right here with the rivet in place, right? That's sort of the pop rivet that they have there. So that's been pressed into place. So you don't have to worry about build quality. Once you get that ready to put back together, then that little locking nut right there, that little detent right there, will make sure that it always goes back in the, the correct position and you can just log it away as you need to. Keystone, thank you so much for sending out this unit for testing and evaluation. I was not paid for this video and Keystone did not review it before I publish my thoughts. Thanks so much for tuning in and uh, be sure that you are hitting that thumbs up and that you're subscribed so that you see more reviews like this. You tell me in the comments, was this helpful? Do you think you'd pick one of these up? If so, I am going to put my affiliate link in the description and also in the pinned comment. So if you like this, please consider using my link to pick one of these up. All right, mind your biz community. Remember to stay private and mind your biz.